Okay, team, let's rewind the facts. First, Tina's made a new friend, Safira Semengo from Mozambique, Africa. Safira will be at Hurston for a couple of weeks while her father works at the United Nations. Safira's father is very strict. Safira tells Tina her older brother, Malinga, moved away from Mozambique three years ago because he and Mr. Semengo had a fight. But... Malenga is here in New York, and I'm going to find him. You see, malenga has been secretly writing letters to me, but I don't know where he lives in New York. Safira misses Malenga and wants to give him an African carving that belonged to their grandfather. So, the team has been helping her search. The team and Safira made a poster with a message for Malenga. When Malinga saw the poster, he contacted the team. But Safira had a bad fight with her parents and ran away. The team rallies at Tina's and asks Ghost Rider to help find Safira. Then the team finds out Rob is back from Australia. But he has sad news for them. My mom's job in Australia, well, it's permanent now, so we're all moving there. Meanwhile, Alex has been tutoring a boy named Hector on his writing assignments. They become good friends. And guess what? Ghost Rider appeared to Hector for the first time. Hey, what's going on? And Ghost Rider tracks Safira down. And Malinka and Tina thought Safira was at the Stedmore Hotel, where her family is staying. But when they got to the Stedmore, they found out that Safira is still missing. Malinka and his father meet for the first time in three years. And why can't we just all be together as a family? Safira's been wandering the streets, lost. It's getting darker and darker, and she's scared. Where am I? Will Safira find her way back to the hotel? Will she finally see Malinka? Get a pencil in your casebook out and start piecing the puzzle because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. I'm really, really sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Simongo. I just wanted to help. Safira is my friend. I would never, ever want anything bad to happen to her. Maybe Sophia just changed her mind about going home. And went where instead? I agree with Tina. I think she got lost. So she can ask one for directions. What if she asks the wrong person? What about the casebook? What clues do we have? They're all about Malanga. But it's Sophia who's missing, not Malanga. What if something terrible happens to her? What if she never comes back? This is all my fault. If only I hadn't helped her figure out those letters. Tina, calm down. Let's think. Maybe she figured out where Malenga lives and is waiting for him there. Malenga went home. She's not there. So it's Ghost Rider, then. He's the key to finding her. 
So let's tell him. Can I do it? Sure. Find Sphere I just know he will. I'll be home soon. Robin Jamal will walk with me. Coaster is back. All right. Ciao, Matt. Drizzle cleanser at wood paint. Reliable toilet tissue. There's more. Choice mark. Looks like some of the letters are missing on this last one. I hope these clues will tell us where Sophia is. They're the names of products. Cleanser, paint, toilet tissue, mops. But I've never heard of most of these. I mean, I've stocked a lot of stuff in the store, and I've never seen Drizzle Cleanser. Me neither. That's because Drizzle fizzled a long time ago. Did you just make that up? No. I remember my grandmother telling me that when the company when the company went out of business. Hey, maybe these are all old things. Cleanser, mop, could be in the kitchen. Or a bathroom, just like toilet tissue. But what about paint? You usually keep that in a garage or basement. Well, she can't be in all those places at once. So sure, sure she could. No, she no, could. She she could. could. She hey! Could. All these things. We need to figure out what all these things have in common so we can settle on one place. OK, they're products. Products are found in the store. But a store wouldn't sell products that aren't made anymore. Well, since it's all old stuff, maybe it's in a closet. That's where my dad and I keep that kind of stuff. But if they're old, who'd keep them? They could just be somewhere. Like in a storeroom. Or a junkyard. An alleyway. Or a garbage can. Oh, no. Wait. I'm forgetting this last clue. Prop something T of walk something tell. Prop, prop. Theater prop, properties. Property, I bet the first word is property. All right. Property of walk tell. You mean all this stuff belongs to someone named walk tell? Couldn't be. Tell begins with a small t. Must be the end of a word, like hotel or hotel. Walk something hotel. How do you figure that? My family once stayed at a hotel where the towels read, Property of Southport Hotel. Hey, you're right, Jamal. Lenny, where's your phone book? Over there. We're getting close. Sophia's at another hotel. What hotel would rent a room to a kid? Hello? Yes, Mrs. Fernandez. Right away. Well, let me guess. We gotta go home. Yep. So do I, actually. Me too. No, we can't. But it's late, Tina. And Sophia's still out there somewhere. Where? We'll meet back here first thing in the morning, okay? This is gonna be the longest night of my life.
Did you know that the capital of Mozambique is Maputo? No, I didn't. And that the major exports are shrimp, cotton, cashews, sugar, lobsters, tin, and copra, which is dried coconut meat? No, I didn't. I'm so worried about Safira, Ma. I know. Safira must have been really angry to run away the way she did. Mr. Samanga was just so strict. He wouldn't let Safira do hardly anything. That sounds like words a certain Tina Nguyen sometimes says to her parents. But it just feels so good to be out on my own. Doing whatever I want. It's fun. I want you to have fun. But you're the most precious thing in the world to me, and I want you to be safe. That's why I'm so strict. But sometimes you go too far. You treat me like a little kid. <laughs> well, you are a kid, Tina. But I'm growing up. You still treat me like Linda. You really think I do that? Yeah. Like, how come my bedtime's only one hour later than hers? She's five years old. I'm in middle school. You are, aren't you? In my mind, you'll always be my little girl. But you're right. You'll be a teenager soon, so I guess I should start treating you like one. Thanks, Ma. Ma, I have to tell you something. What? I lied to you the other day. Sophia and I were out at Fort Green Park. Not studying at Sophia's, like I said. That's very serious, Tina. You're lying and then going off by yourself like that? I know. But I'm glad you were honest with me. stop thinking about Safira. I hope she's all right. If we don't figure out this hotel clue, we'll never find her. But it's not in the phone book. And I asked my dad, and he's never heard of a walk anything hotel in New York. Who is it? Alice. Hi, Gabby. Alex. Hi. Hi. Hey, guys. This is Hector Crow. Hey, Hector. Hi. I'm Lenny. <laughs> Jamal. Good seeing you, man. Oh, uh, Rob. Nice to meet you. Tina. Was it scary when Ghost Strider wrote to you? Yeah, kind of. But Alex was with me, so it was okay. We filled Hector in on the case. We're still about where we were last night. No Walk Something Hotel. What if this thing that is property of Walk Something Hotel on it, say a towel, only used to be in the hotel? Well, what if the hotel was torn down ages ago and the towel is someplace else? Oh, man. Or what if... Go ahead, Hector. Well, I don't know, but when I was living in Puerto Rico, my grandfather told me about this old Hacienda Hotel that started going broke. People stopped coming to stay there, and the food got really bad, and there was more animals and bugs inside the hotel than outside. <laughs> Once they found this donkey... Uh, Hector. Yeah? Is there a point to the story? Oh, yeah. So they sold the hotel to somebody else and gave it a new name and fixed it up, and soon it was the best place around to stay. So they changed the name of the hotel? Yeah, but if you go there, you can still see the old name on the glasses in the restaurant. Then you're saying the Walk Something Hotel... Could be the old name of a fixed-up hotel. That's a great idea, Hector. Yeah, I'll ask my grandma. She's the oldest New Yorker I know. <laughs> See, guys? My influence on this kid is already starting to show. Yeah. Right. Yeah, hello, Grandma. I was wondering if you knew of an old Walk Something Hotel here in New York. The old Walker Hotel? Thanks, Grandma. Okay, that's great. Bye-bye. Well? The old Walker Hotel was here in Brooklyn, and it's now called the Stedmore. 
So Sophia's at the Stedmore? She must be in a storage room or broom closet or something. Let's go! Once more by the sun and moon live in the sky. Oh, oh you start out, Father. So, so worried about you. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Father. I'm glad you're safe. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused everyone. Kani Mambo, thank you so much for finding me. I'm so glad you're okay. Thank you. Yes, thank you all. Come, Sophia. All right. He did it. Yes. With Ghostwriter's help. He's part of the week, so we... I'm so glad. If anything had happened since... Tina. Sophia... Stop blaming yourself. Sophia is lucky to have a friend like you. Thanks. Don't forget about the other thing we have to do. That's right. Does he know? Uh uh. I just told him we pick him up later. Come on, Rob. And if you ever, ever run away like that again, you'll be in the severest of trouble, young lady. Do you hear me? Yes, Father. Your position in this family will enough, be that... Enough, Roberto. That's enough. Yes, she was wrong. Just as Malenga was wrong for striking you three years ago. But enough. Yes. Yes, enough. Enough. Don't you ever scare me like that again. I promise to put my return address on my letters from now on. <laughs> Mother and father, right, you know. You're running away like that was very wrong, very wrong and very, very dangerous. I know that now. It was so scary wandering around by myself in the dark. I didn't know how to get home. I thought I'd never see you. Or mother, or father again. And it, it did not get you what you say you want? Freedom, independence? I thought that maybe if I could live with you, everything would be perfect. Perfect? <laughs> Safi, my life is far from perfect. And a lot of this is my own fault. I mean, if I hadn't blown up at father, if I had not struck him, Never forgive myself for that. It was his fault, too. He should have listened to you and to me. Yes, but that's no excuse for what either of us did. Safi, if I could do it all again, I would try harder to talk to Father, to make him listen. And I think that's what you should do now, too. But they're so hard to talk to. <laughs> yes. But you must try, Safi, because your coming to live with me is just not possible. It's not realistic. You should be with mother and father, not with some 21-year-old brother who can barely support himself. All right, I'll try. Good. Go. But I miss you so much. I miss you too. Then you've got to try to talk to father again. Well, maybe someday we can forgive each other. That will depend on Father. It depends on you, too. Here. This is what I needed to give you. Grandfather. 
a scarf. Yes, he gave it to me. But you're the oldest grandchild. You're the one who should really have it. Okay, Hector, are you ready to join the Ghost Rider team? Uh-huh. Who wants to do the honors? Let Rob do it. Right. Huh? Go ahead, Rob. Uh, okay. You have to promise never to tell anybody about Ghost Rider. I promise. I really do. Good. Uh, here's your official Ghost Rider pen. You can write to him anytime, anywhere. He's always there for you. He'll always be there for you. Just as will. Just as it will always be there. Oh, wow. Write to him. But writing is hard for me. I know. But remember what you said? All you have to do is catch the words as they come out of your head and squash them down on the paper. What's happening? So cool. Thank you very much, Mr. Ghost Rider. <laughs> Ask Ghost Rider a question. Yeah, anything but his Elvis did. Who's Elvis? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Hector. You decide what to ask. Do you know? K N O W. Gracias. Do you know? Good. Ghost stories? Him too. He can write to you in Australia. Yeah, we'll see. And now? What's going on? You'll see. Yeah. This is for you, Rob. What is it? A pit viper. What else? <laughs> Writing notebooks. Yeah, because we know that wherever you go, you'll always be a writer. Oh man. Thanks, guys. You have to open each one now. Uh, look on the inside covers. Keep up the slamming detective work. Thanks, Alex. Go. Cool. Stay out of subway tunnels. Thanks, Gabby. I'll try. <laughs> Just remember, Ghost Rider is with you always. I'll remember, Tina. I'm gonna miss you, pink guy. <laughs> <laughs> pink guy? Uh, same here, brown dude. Huh? I'll explain to you later. Friends are forever. Thanks, Lenny. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> What's the matter, Hector? I didn't get anything for Rob. Well, that's okay. You're new to the team. Yeah, but still. I know what you could give me. What? A promise. What sort of promise? That if I write to you, you'll write back. All the way to Australia? Yeah. I'll be your first pen pal. And he's not a girl, so that's cool. Alex. <laughs> music, music. All right! Ooh. Hard set. <laughs> you know, there's one thing I'm not going to miss, Rob. Uh, what's that? 
Watching a cherry body part dancing. <laughs> yeah, at least I move, Mr. Standstill and eat popcorn. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's do the rock. Yeah! Come on, guys. Like this rock? Yeah, you got that, Hector. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till you read about yourselves in my first book. <laughs> to you in part by Nike. Additional bucks that keep our team supreme come from public television viewers like you and me. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The John Dean Kaplan T. McCarver Foundation. The Pew Charitable Trust. And the U.S. Department of Education. But you can't save all on breath. I bet you can. Ghost Rider was originally produced for the Public Broadcasting Service. Read more about Ghost Rider and the Ghost Rider team in these Bantam books. To purchase Bantam books, video cassettes, or a teacher's guide for programs in this series, contact GPN, P.O. Box 80669, Lincoln, Nebraska, 68501, or call one 800 228 4630.